the first step in setting up a laser cut to send to the laser cutters in the fabrication workshop is going to be setting up the AutoCAD or Rhino file that you're working in. So we're going to start here with an AutoCAD file, a blank file that we just opened. Um, and we're just going to lay out the basic dimensions that we can actually cut within. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our rectangle tool and we're going to start a rectangle at zero zero and we're going to make it a 32 by 18 rectangle so this rectangle is going to register um, basically the outermost dimension of the actual laser cut bed um, what's important to note here is that the outer bounds of the laser cutter bed are not necessarily going to be the outer bounds of your actual material so the largest piece of material that we recommend using um, would be about 17 and 3 quarters by 31 and 3 quarters. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just offset this line by an eighth of an inch um, on all sides. And what that's going to do is that's going to yield a box that's going to be 17 and 3 quarter by 31 and 3 quarters. So that's sort of the, the outermost extent that we would ever recommend cutting to. Um, this is also the largest size that any of our stock materials come down in the shop. Um, the reason that we don't like to go all the way to the edges, um, sometimes the bed is not 100% square, sometimes your material is not going to be totally square. So if you put a, or if you submit a piece of material that's actually 18 inches by 32 inches, the chances are it will not fit properly inside of the bed. Um, the next step is going to be to actually draw the size of our piece of material for the so for this demonstration um, I'm going to use the size of um, a piece of acrylic so that would be 30 inches by sorry so if we go 0 0 30 16 so that's going to be the size of our actual piece of material that we're going to be using um, you can place it anywhere within these outside bounds um, as long as it, it actually does fit within. So um, the last thing we want to do for our file setup, so we have basically our bed, our safe region, our piece of material, um, and then we don't really want to cut within about an eighth of an inch of the edge of your actual piece of material. Um, ideally, you want to be leaving more like a quarter of an inch, so here we'll leave a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside of the material and this is sort of the boundary that you're now going to have to work within. Um, the reason that we like to leave a buffer is um, in case the material isn't aligned properly inside of the laser, um, in case it's cut a little bit off so the stock sizes that we have are sort of rough cuts and they would they can sort of they can vary up to about a, a quarter of an inch in either direction so um, this would now be the safe bounds within which you're working. So the, we're going to talk a little bit about layering here. Um, we'll get a little bit more into layering in the next tutorial. But what you want to do here is all of your lines on here, we're just going to turn these off for printing. So what that's going to mean is that when we go to plot this, um, these lines actually will not end up plotting. Um, this is really important because when you submit the file and when the staff at the fabrication workshop goes to run the file, it's a lot easier if they can move your file around the bed and if all of these lines are in there they won't be able to move it um, so do not plot these lines um, it's going to cause you problems down the line the only reason why you would leave any of these lines is if you're trying to align something perfectly to a piece of material um, in which case I would say take if this is your material line um, we'll make a new layer and then we can move that to layer one We'll change the color of that so we can visualize it a little bit better. Um, let's go with red. And then you can leave that line as a print layer. Um, but other than that, if you're not planning to align something perfectly to the material, you do not need that in your file, and it's going to cause you problems if you do have it in your file. 